In this video, we are going to take an introductory look at how we can put points in line on what is called the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane is an intersection of two number lines. The horizontal number line is called the x-axis. The vertical number line is called the y-axis. These two number lines intersect at a key point called the origin, which is 0 for the x, x number line and 0 for the y number line. This means we count up, going to the right, giving positive numbers and negative numbers on the left. Similarly, on the y number line, we have positive numbers going up and negative numbers going down. We give directions to points on this coordinate plane using these two number lines. First, we give directions to the point going to the right. This is the x value. Then, we give directions going up. This is the y value. And we give these directions as a coordinate pair x, comma, y. The first number telling us how far to go right, and the second number, how far to go left. Let's look at how we can graph these points on the coordinate plane. The first point is negative 2, 3. That's negative 2 on the x number line and 3 on the y number line. Negative 2 means 2 to the left and 3 up. This is our point. Similarly, negative 4, negative 1, I'm sorry, 4, negative 1 is 4 on the x, negative 1 on the y. 4 to the right and 1 down. The next point is negative 2, negative 4. Negative 2 on the x and negative 4 on the y to get our point. Next is 0, 3. x is 0, y is 3. This means there's no left or right motion, just 3 to the north or 3 up. The last point is negative 1, comma, 0. Negative 1 on the x and 0 on the y. Negative 1 on the x number line is 1 to the left and 0 up and down. Now we've graphed all the points that have been described in this problem. Often, we're more interested in graphing shapes that represent equations than just random points. In this next example, we have the equation y equals 0.5x minus 2. We're going to graph a picture of the solutions to this equation by picking on our own several values for x and plugging them into the equation y equals 0.5x minus 2. If we start by picking maybe negative 2 for x, our equation becomes y equals 0.5x, which we said was negative 2, minus 2. Working this out, we get negative 3. Let's graph this point on the number line. Negative 2 for the x, negative 3 for the y. 2 to the left, 3 down. Let's plug 0 into this equation. Now the equation becomes y equals 0.5, times 0, minus 2. Working this out, we get negative 2. This means when x is 0, y is negative 2. Graphing this on the number line, 0 for x, negative 2 for y, we get our next point. Let's plug 2 into the equation. Now we have y equals 0 0.5 times 2, minus 2. Working this out gives us negative 1. When x is 2, y is negative 1. 2 to the right, 1 down. Notice we can connect these lines, these dots, using a straight line. This line means any point on the line, for example, 4, 0, will make this equation a true statement.